Hello guys, they're gonna do a top 12 Rush Mega Man weapons. I only made my one to six because I haven't played any of the other ones yet, but I will play them sometime. But anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys at number 12. I do like Heat Man, but the only thing I don't like about him is his weapon. It's complete trash because it doesn't even work against enemies. You have to charge it up out of balls. I mean, like, use Quick Man as an example. Like, you're trying to charge it up and hit him because, hit blood. I mean, uh, what was it called again? Ugh, oh, I forgot what it was called. But anyways, yeah. This weapon is complete garbage because you gotta charge it up while you're in the middle of a fight against Quick Man. Like, if you're charging up, that means it gives the time the boss to hit you. That's the only thing I don't like about Heat Man's weapon. It's also, um, not even that good. It's garbage. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number... Oh, yeah, right. Not yet. This, this weapon is weak against... Um, this... It works against... Woodman. Yeah, right, it works against Woodman. It kills Woodman in two hits, but I'd rather use Metal Blade because, um, I don't know why, actually. But anyways, I like using Metal Blade. This weapon is garbage. It's probably the only trash weapons out of that game. Wait, Bubble Edge trash, too. Forgot about that. But anyways, I'll see you guys at number 11. Number 11 is Skullman's weapon. It's complete garbage. I mean, it's stupid. Like, three, like, skulls flying around you. But it does help a Mega Maker because you can, um, when you use the Skull Bear, it can walk over spikes. But in the original Mega Man 4, yo, th there's, no there's nothing good about it. It sucks against Dive Man. It's crappy. It's so stupid that it can't do nothing to affect anything besides Dive Man. It's not even good against finding mini bosses and crap. It's trash and complete garbage. Sip, a uh, ship, uh, sip, uh, Skull Man. But his weapon is garbage, though. Just skulls. That's it. But anyways, I'll see you guys at number 10. What is the point when you can't use a weapon most of the time? Gutsman's weapon is complete garbage. All you do, you grab a, you grab a rock and you throw it. That's it. It's, you, this weapon is complete garbage because there's mostly no rocks around anywhere. So how is Mega Man mostly going to use this weapon? You can only use it at the fight of Leg Man and Cut Man stage, and you can use it in some other places too. But mostly, you never see this rock. If you don't see a rock, that means you can't use this weapon. Seriously, what's the point of a weapon when you can't use it most of the time? It's stupid. It's so stupid. It's retarded. Anyways, I'll see you guys. No, 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 not yet. It's good against uh, Big Eye because it's actually the the weapon that works mostly against Big Eye. Probably when it kills him. But yeah, the only good thing about it that is weak against that one annoying boss. I think it's so annoying that um, copy machine. Not the copy of Mega Man. But anyways, I'll see you guys at number 9. Really, Capcom? Ring, ring, ring? Okay, this is the weapon from... Ring man. First of all, it's crap because you can't like you can't like jump. Cause seriously, you can't you can't you can't throw it that far like Ring Man's weapon. Well, I mean like when you fight against Ring Man, he can throw his Ring Boomerang farther than you can. It's stupid, but it is kind of great against against uh, enemies. But it gets but it's not even sharp. It's not like some spikes all over it. Cause look, what is trying? What's Mega Man trying to do? Get a get a girlfriend or something? Is that what you're trying to do, Mega Man? God, Capcom is immediately running out of weapons ideas. Because weapons start being crappy in Mega Man 5, and there's millions of crappy weapons. Anyways, we'll see you um, at number 8. Did a, a, couple, a really trashy one. Okay, what's the point of this? Mega Man shooting his arm out to, to enemies? That is stupid. Horseman weapon is garbage. First of all, the slowest Mega Man weapon and Mega Man 3. Third of all, it can't even hurt bosses. The only person, the only that thing that works against is that little one thing for Gamma. That, like that. It's complete garbage. The only reason it only works on Top Man and that one boss of Gamma. Oh, I said it walks to the weakness of Doc Robot slash Crash Man. By completely ignoring the fact of that. It's, it's like it's a control weapon like at a move like this. Like that. And it's stupid. He really likes that weapon because it's garbage. Got calling you to come with some good weapons. I mean, most of my, late, my least favorite set of weapons has to come from Mega Man 5 and 3 because they're most garbage and trashy. But anyways, I'll see you guys at number 7. 
to a trashy one. Another trashy one. Okay, what's the point of this? He slides. That is stupid. It work. It does not even work against enemies. You hurt yourself hurting other enemies. That is stupid. You know what? So you know what's even more stupid? That is it's weak against freaking Wave Man. Wave Man is cool, but this this is stupid. It's just a weaponized version of your slide move, and most of the time it doesn't even work on some enemies, like those one enemies that has a ball. Exact. That's an example from Crystal, Crystal Man stage. But anyways, this weapon never works most of the time. It can work against uh, it can work against Dark Man three when you when he freezes you, and you slide it to him. That's it. That's probably the only good thing about this. I mean, so trashy. Look at the face of that. He's like, so disappointed with this weapon. Well, that's what I would be like if I were you, Mega Man, because I'll be disappointed with that weapon. I'll see you guys to the crappier weapons at number six. Number six is Stone Man's weapon. It's complete garbage. All you threw, I mean, all you do with it is just spin three rocks around you. It has trouble hitting enemies as well. It sucks against bosses. It sucks against enemies. It sucks against all bosses in general. It's not, it, the reason why it's not at number one, because if you target it at a great position, it can actually hurt a lot of enemies. But it's weak against, what was it weak against? Oh yeah, right, it's weak against Charge Man. To, uh, what, stupid weapon, we can get a stupid Robot Master. Is he happy? Because he better not be happy, because that weapon is complete garbage and trashy. So stupid. <sighs> I told you guys, weapons in Mega Man 5 are trash. And that's what I'll be saying in my Mega Man 5 review. But anyways, besides talking crap about Mega Man 5 weapons, I'll see you guys at number 5. Number 5 is Hyper Bomb. Really, Capcom? It's complete garbage. It's not that good of a weapon. And I know I put it on the same uh, on the same number like I did on my second channel. If you guys didn't see that, you can go watch it. There's nothing besides Hyper. It works on no... The only time I use this weapon is get those one eye enemies and guts mint. That's the only thing it works. And it can't, and it's not, ugh, man, I forgot. But anyway, it's not that good against enemies at all. Or bosses. Only works on Gutch, man. He, he can, like, jump out the way from your stupid, from your stupid hyper bomb. My god, Capcom. Man, there's, there's a bunch of good weapons in, in Mega Man 1, but this one is the most garbage and trashy. It's so stupid that it doesn't even work against most enemies. It only works like it's one enemy. If you're in a final boss, if you have Hyper Bomb left and nothing other weapons, just kill yourself, because you do not want to use Hyper Bomb. It's trashy, and it's stupid. You know what, I'll see you guys at number four. Okay, this weapon has to be the most trashy for Mega Man 3. It's a crappy air shooter ripoff. I mean, really, look at it. It, it only thing it does is flew enemies in the air, and you get no, and you get no wep you get no items re returned for it. That's right, you get nothing. Complete garbage. At least air shooter, you can actually get stuff sometimes from air shooter. And at least you can actually shoot in the air three times. I'm sure if I accidentally did that. But still, though, this weapon is complete trash. And the three other weapons you'll be seeing are even more trash. But anyways, not yet. I gotta talk about some more stuff. This weapon is only weak against that one turd boss in, in uh, Flame Man. That's stupid. Seriously, air take it out fire doesn't make any sense. Anyways, I'll see you guys to the top three of the worst weapons ever. This this shield weapon is more stupid than skull the skull man's shield weapon. It's flowers. First you got skulls flying around you, now you got flowers. Really? Seriously, look at his face. If you look at culture, he's so angry because he doesn't like his weapon. It's garbage. It's not. It's the only the only time I use this weapon is against Tomahawk Man. That's the only time. And first of all, how can flowers affect Tomahawks? It, they could chop flowers up. It doesn't make any sense. And it's terrible against bosses and enemies in general. And uh, robot masters. And did you get this weapon? Because Plant Man's crappy. Specialist weapon sucks more than he does himself. This is not even a good weapon. Of all the Mega Man 6 Robot Master weapons, this one has to be the most garbage. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number two. 
Number two is Time Stopper from Mega Man 2. Flash Man's weapon is complete garbage. All it does is freeze his enemies. You can't even attack them. At least Bright Man's weapon is better than that in general. I mean, seriously. The only time this weapon is useful is because Quick Man just, um, pulling down his and taking away half of his energy bar. That's the only good thing about this weapon. Anyways, I'll see you guys at number one. You guys shouldn't be expecting this weapon. Top Span? Really? The only thing this weapon does, it hurts you like Charge Kick from Mega Man 5. It's good against nothing, and it's weak against Gamma, and it's weak against Doc uh, Robot slash, um, slash Heat Man, and it's weak against Top Man, which is stupid. It spins around like a ballerina. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, comment, our favorites, and share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you guys next time for the top 12 best Mega Man weapons. Peace out.